Hi everybody. So let's talk about the fast etude. First off, the key signature is one flat. This is B flat, which is first valve on the trumpet. And the time signature is four four, which just means there are four quarter notes in every measure. This is a moderately fast tempo de piece. At the top it says Allegro Moderato. Quarter note is 100 to 112. So I'm going to set my metronome for 100 for right now. And the great thing about this piece is oftentimes they'll have a theme and then they'll repeat it. Like in the first measure, so it's the exact same thing twice. Different notes, but your rhythm's the same. Da 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 dum. And then in measure three, it's the same thing. Da 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 dum. Now one note about staccatos. For the staccato notes. You want there to be separation between the notes, but I wouldn't play them too short or pecky. Too much, okay? Let the notes have a little bit of body, but still separation between them. So in line two, I wanna talk about the dotted eighth, 16th rhythm. Now oftentimes you're going to hear this rhythm played almost as if they were swinging it in a jazz band phrase. And that's not the way you want to perform this. Listen to the difference. It's crisper. Now, if you literally want to subdivide it and count it out, you can take your metronome and quadruple the speed. For this, it would be 400. And listen to the subdivision. So this would be the literal 16th. And to subdivide it, you would put three 16ths together like this. Da, da, da. Da 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 da. Do you hear how quick that is at the end? Da 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 da. So if we play it like that. It's very crisp. And again, contrast that to. Bit crisp. Now measure seven is just like measure five. Again, they're repeating the same thing twice. The notes are different. Let me turn my metronome back on and listen to how this repeats itself rhythmically. difference in the end, but you can see how they're similar. Also notice the dynamic differences. We're going to start fuller at the beginning of the line. There's a decrescendo and then a crescendo to a forte, and then it gets mezzo piano. In measure A, you start with a dotted quarter eighth, just like in measure 11, another dotted quarter eighth. And then we have a quarter note, triplet, half note. Again, there's a lot of repetition in here, so once you learn a rhythm, it never goes to waste because it's usually brought back. Listen to line three. Again, keep the staccatos light, keep them bouncy, have separation between, but don't play them legato, obviously not too long, but don't play them too short, not too pecky. You wouldn't want to play Okay, give them a little bit of body, 
Again, be very, very conscientious of your dynamics. In the one, two, three, fourth line, it starts very full, very loud, and then two measures, three measures later, it's very, very soft. And you want to make a big difference. So again, in measure 17, we have repetition, the same rhythm that we saw in measures 5 and measure 7, it comes back. Da, 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 dee, da, 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 da. And for the most part, these dynamics are going to do what we would expect. As the line goes up, generally we crescendo and we get louder, and as the lines go down, as we descend, we decrescendo. For the rest of the music that doesn't have the specific crescendos and decrescendos written in, such as seven and eight, you can add your own nuance to it. You might build slightly as you're going bum 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 bum. And you can experiment with your dynamics just a little bit. Again, generally as you go up a line, you're going to crescendo slightly and going down a line, you're going to decrescendo slightly. Let's take a look at the last line. Again, the contour of the line as it goes down, there's a decrescendo written in. As we go up the line, as we ascend, there's a crescendo. Again, as you're going for those higher notes, think about blowing the air farther using your corner muscles to steer the air straight and forward. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks so much for watching the video. We'll talk to you later. Goodbye.